I just finished putting a set of these stone steps in. I'm going to show you how we did it. Uh, the owner took them out and he poured his own footer and we went and got the stone and we went and I went and had this stone. I had that laying around. It's real stone. So we went and we put the block in. We put the stone on and we just finished it. It's just about ready to rain. We've got to cover it. So I'm going to show you how we did it. Okay, I figured this all out right here. I got the limestone. How that's going to go. My first one will be a cap. The owner's going to do it himself. Here's where my stone goes. You see that? Now I got it all figured out. So I'm going to cut it out and give it to the owner. He's going to put the footer in and the blocker. I'm probably just going to help him at the very end. So now I'm going to cut it out with the scissors and I'm going to go and give it to him. Now if you can see what I'm doing, I'm laying out everything dry and I'm making a count of how much blocks I need. So when I get on the job, I'll have exactly what I need. So I made the path <coughs> and right here, I don't want this sidewalk to be laying on two different parts of the step. I want the same foundation under every step. So that's that's the thing. So I made a line here. We're going to cut it with the saw. The owner's going to do everything. I just might come back and help him put the stones on. So we cut the sidewalk now and uh, he's going to break it off and pour a footer in here for them steps. Made my marks. I'm going to start putting in my block. there. See, here's my joint. Here's my block I end up. That's my stone. Here's my limestone cap. There was no time to be pounding on it. It was okay. That's that. Oh. Over here, go against there. See where it ends with my pattern. Right there. Okay, that's where we go. Straighten all these out. That's it. Now I'm getting my whole base in. This way, whole bottom. That's just gonna. That's even with that first step. And then they build up off of that. See, I gotta go level down here. Uh, level over here. And then I measure. My stone's 49. I'm going 44 and a half. But my pattern's what really tells me. Ruler, I just second check that with. So now I have my pattern up here again. I gotta put an 8 inch block in here. It's gotta be real tight because uh, it's gotta be real tight because uh, it's gotta be tight. So it's right there. Over here, check my pattern. That's my height. That's where my stone's gonna go. So I keep going. Well, I continue on here. Get it in there like that. Got a real tight joint there. Got my pattern going. I got my four inches. Next one gonna be on top of that. It's gonna be a three. Let me put my threes in. See, I want to be down here with that line. That's exactly where I go. Okay. So I'm coming up on my last step.
right where I should be. Right there. Here's my stone, here's my joint, here's my limestone. Everything works out good. And just like stick on stone, you plaster it up a little bit. Get it right in there. Like that. That's the back of my stone. Now I'm doing my final check with my pattern. Make sure I didn't make no mistakes. Right down on the footer. That's it. That's where it goes. Okay, now I'm ready to put my stones in. I'm taking all this stuff and filling in these holes so we can put our steps in. I'm going to put my first piece of limestone on. Right by looking at my pattern right here, just about how much cement I'm going to need on here. Okay. Looks good. Get my pattern up here. Go down. Level. Let's see what this says. That's level. That's level. The stone should be seven and a quarter. Seven. bring my rubber hammer today. Mm. Okay. Put it we'll in there. The stone's gonna go right on top of there. My steps are all in. Used my pattern. I didn't have to use a, a ruler or anything. Everything worked out just the way I wanted. Now I'm going to put my stone in, cut myself another pattern. That's how thick it is, right there. So I'm just going to go over to the stone. I'm going to trace it and start cutting my pieces out. And I take my pattern right here, and make a little trace mark. That's where I'm going to cut it. back of this stone and put it on right there shove it in Second course on. Just like that. Now in the old days when I was a kid, we would go up to the quarry and they'd make the set of steps right out of stone. Everything was stone, no block, no nothing. Everything kind of changed. That's the way you do it now. New school, I call it. All right, just cleaning it up like normal. Bing, 
finger, sponge, anything that works. Now he's rinsed his sponge completely out. Get right up in there. Get all that dirt out of there, just like that. is the sponge. Gotta keep, gotta get that cement off of it. Tomorrow, the next day, you could come over and get the wire brush. Some people use acid. Not a big fan of acid, but you could use it. And you just keep going. It's cleaning it up. That's it. in our final pieces and cleaning this up over here too. Side. Just like that. Now since you've seen me do uh, those stone steps, I'm going to show you a little difference between old school and new school. Old school, when I was a kid, we used to go to the quarries and actually buy the steps made. They would pre-make them for you. And I'm going to show you a couple examples. I rode along the river. I took a picture of some steps. I went in front of a church and took a picture of the, uh, church steps. And then I did a job. It must have been 20 years ago. I had to match the rest of the house. And I had to go up to the quarry. The reason they don't do this much anymore is because they came out with all this fake stone. And the stick-on stone. So what I did was I built my steps out of block and I got some flagstone and I just did my facing like you see me and I stuck it onto the block. Back in the late 1800s, 1900s, they didn't have block. They actually went to the quarry to make the whole thing solid out of stone. And this is a couple examples right here. See, I faced it and what they do when they get to the quarry and they get the rough stuff and they just face it just like that. Use chisels and you get a, a face on it. That's the way they did it. I, I know there's a lot of young guys watching me and I think it's important that I explain. You have to look at what they did in the past to know what you're doing in the future. Everything's going to fake stone. If you're a young guy, you can buy this flag stone and make your own stone out of it. It's one tenth of the price of the fake stone. So. Think about that. Now I'm just going to show you those little examples. Now these steps leading up to the house right there. All those stones right there. They were cut at the quarry and they were put on the truck or the wagon and brought there and, and put up. Pre-made. Now we're in front of a church steps and all these steps and all these stones right here were cut at the quarry. This is 1890 right there. So this is old school. When I was a little kid and we were doing a set of steps like this, everything would be done at the quarry and then it would be brought down and put up in pieces. Here's a job out of that thick stone that I had to go to the quarry right there and then I did over there. I had to go to the quarry and get that stone and it had a match over there which you can't see behind the tree. But the point is, uh, they don't, you, this, these quarries they used to make the stone, no more old, old guys are gone. I just wanted to point that out, that what new school is. It's still, you can still use real stone. You just get the saw and you plaster it on. The old school was, they'd build everything at the quarry, we put it in pieces, take it on the job, cement it, and you're done. What I did was I went down the first day, I got all my blocks, you see me figure out how many I needed. I got all the, the stone I was going to need. I got the cement, the sand, the caps, put it on the same truck. Next day I got there, me and the owner, we put the steps in. It was a two-day job. Last thing, I appreciate people sending me gifts in the mail. This came from Vic. And uh, Charlie gave me a new hat. <laughs> but you don't have to send me anything or anything like that. I have a lot of fun making the videos and passing on what someone passed on to me years before. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, thanks for everything. 
Uh, here's the steps and this is the end of the video.